Hi everybody, it's me George here. I'm going to do a quick video real uh, talking about Miss Patel, Rakat Patel. You know, I did a video last year, right around the summertime, talking about her. Um, she lost her home in an eviction in the summertime. And um, that's right here. That's her. This is them evicting her because I'm paid bills. It was in June. And then she came back, you know, uh, because she wanted a court um, hearing to come back. But the problem was, just like it shows right here, I sold my 200,000 pound dream home for two pounds over a feud with a neighbor. Teacher sells her 300-year-old cottage tried to avoid a 76,000-pound legal bill after uh, the court battle over 12 proxy damage roof tiles. Folks, she's had, she had an opportunity to take care of this. She claims that they wouldn't work out an installment plan, which was not true. Uh, she refused because she re thought that it wouldn't be right paying for her bills because of it wasn't right what they did to her. That was the reason why. And then now they came back at her and, and found out later in this article and another one from The Sun that there were two other companies that have a holding on the title of her home. So because of that, and I think it was 250, here the son is claiming it's 250, the, the male is saying it's 200. Um, I don't know which one's what, uh, but here it says 200,000, but up here it says 250. It makes no sense, but anyways. Um, so she sells her home. What's ever left with the money pays for the bill. And then what's ever left from that, these two other companies that invested into the home will get it. Will get the money, not her. Let me see. I think it's in the sun right here that they talk about it. Um... Was somewhere in here. <clears throat> du, 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 du. No, well, I must be here. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, it says, however, she will continue to live there after signing a 10-year tenancy with the two private firms that bought it. The judge must now decide whether to s the sale was lawful and Ms. Patel must pay the legal bills, which she disputes. So there's two other private firms that are invested into the house that they're going to get the money before she does. And... Um, and then she has to pay for the court bills, the legal bills itself specifically. And she's saying, why should I pay? In which she disputes. Why? Everybody has to pay. Do, do you understand why she lost her house? Because she couldn't do the right thing, and just pay her bill. You know who told her not to pay her bill? It was Chrissy Morris. All right? There's a YouTube out there, which I have uh, on my YouTube channel. You can see, and there's the other one out there. Just type her name, Raquel Patel, you know, house, and uh, you'll find that video where you see Chrissy Morris getting arrested by enforcement officers, high court enforcement officers. That's what these guys right here are. And these are the police. They're standing by. They have to follow the court ruling that they had a writ. And if you interfere with their writ, what they're supposed to do, like going into the house to repossess the house, 
they, the police, can arrest people who are interfering with them. That's the law there in England. All right? So there's the article from the Daily Mail, and then there's the one from The Sun. Those are the only two so far I've seen. Probably be another couple more days before we see any more. But I have to ask this to Miss Patel. Was it worth it? You spent 30 grand to fix your damn house, which was in shambles. But you couldn't pay 76,000 pounds to pay your part of the bill of, for the house. How dumb can you be? And you listen to Christy Morris and he told you, don't pay for it. But he'll probably say something like, well, he never said he did that. Actually, he did. Um, and you, you see in the video when he gets arrested, he does state that. He does say, I told her not to because it's illegal. He did say that. So... But, like I said, it's like a public service announcement, folks. Do not listen to people like Chrissy Morris, Tom Crawford, uh, Mark Cylon over there in England if you live there. Same thing here in the United States or in Canada. All right? If you have a problem, get an expert. Get a lawyer. Get an accountant. Get a, you know, real estate, you know, uh expert any of these people that know their stuff not these other people these so-called you know youtube lawyers as i call them um that don't know anything about the laws of what to do you know there's a person in england there dan danny bamp all right dan danny bamping is a lawyer he is someone that tried to help Tom Crawford, didn't listen to him, and Tom lost his house. He's a guy who knows his stuff. He's a lawyer. He's an expert. He knows what he's talking about. You know, he will give you advice. If I someone came up to me and said, what should I do with my problem? I would say, hey, go talk to Danny Bampi. He's a lawyer. He knows about stuff like this. He, he's dealt with this in the past. And guess what? You probably will be fine because he knows what he's talking about. But her, she didn't listen. So, uh, and I'm not going to be nice about her. You know, she's dumb. She's an idiot. She's stupid. And she is a teacher, for God's sakes. And she's teaching people, you know, kids over there about education, about life and all that, and she still lost her house? And what she's going to tell her students? Oh, they ripped me off. I was, I was, my house has now been stolen because I had to sell it or something of that sort. I don't know. But I don't like when people do dumb things like this. All right? Like I said, public service announcement. Do not go to people that don't know what they're talking about. Because this is what could happen to you. This teacher who lost her dream home because she didn't pay her bills. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.